Welcome back to another Cubic Castles video. Today we will be talking about realms and rooms in Cubic Castles. I'll be talking about the benefits of each one and go over what are the differences and which one should you get for what you are building, whether it's your storage or your shop and what size realm or room you should get as well. Both realms and rooms let you have more space to build things in the game. So realms in Cubic Castles have changed a lot since the overworld update where we only have a few main overworlds where everyone can create their own overworld. Before the update realms were very useful, we could place our realm in any overworld and other players can search for it and easily find it in the overworld. So now there aren't really too many benefits from getting a realm, but there are a few still. So realms still make it easier for other players to find. They can just search up your realm name and they're in your place immediately. They don't have to go through lots of doors or other areas of your build to reach your shop or, what, or your storage. And also it makes it a bit easier for you to get to your place as well since it shows up on the search in the overworld. But the drawback of realms is that they are very expensive. So comparing a 33 by 33 realm to a 33 by 33 room, a realm costs almost four times as much as a room. So rooms seem like a better choice, right? Because you can get a bigger room for less cubits and you can have a bigger shop, a bigger storage. And it's pretty much identical to a realm. It's just that you can't go directly to that room from the overworld. So those are the two main differences between a room and a realm. Rooms you can't go directly to from a, an overworld, but they are significantly cheaper than a realm. And realms you can go to it via the overworld and it's a lot easier for other players to find. So which one should you get, a realm or a room? It really depends on what you're building. Storages or workshops, I think that rooms are the best. It's cheaper, it's, real, it's your storage. It doesn't really make a difference whether other players can find it easier or get to it from an overworld, especially if you're a new player, it's a lot cheaper and you can save some cubits getting a bigger room and you can always repurpose that room for something else later if you decide to get a realm for your storage instead. You can repurpose it to a farm or something else because rooms don't have a names, unlike realms where you create a name for the realm when you use it and it costs cubits to change as well. But if you're building a shop, I think realms are the best. It makes it so much easier for someone to find your shop when you advertise your shop on Discord or the forums or wherever, you can just give that person the realm name and they can find it easily. Unlike rooms where you might have to give them instructions to make it easier for them to visit your shop or find where it is in your starter realm. For the size of your room or realm, storages, popular sizes are 99 by 99 if you want to really spread out your storage. Probably don't need it that size, smaller is okay, like 55 by 55 is popular. And what I've chosen for mine is 33 by 33, which is a bit small, but it's enough for what I'm using it for. For shops, remember that you need to fill up your shop as well. It's not very efficient if you have a 99 by 99 shop, but you've only got five vending machines. And remember, if you're spending cubits on a realm, it costs more and you might not have enough cubits for the vending machines. If you're going to expand your shop or make it bigger in the future, I would suggest getting a bigger realm if possible. So there you have it. Those are the two differences between realms and rooms, the price and how easy it is for other players to find it. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.